Hello traders, welcome to my channel. This is Dion. Alright, so today I just want to talk about something that you need to fix for you to be profitable. Okay, I've seen a lot of traders uh, making this mistake. It's a simple mistake, but uh, it has a very uh, great impact on your trading journey if you don't fix it as fast as possible. So yeah, let's, let's just get into it. All right, so as you can see here, this is this is like the classic classic movement of the market. Okay, so if 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 you've already been watching my videos, by now you already know how to map your your structures. Okay, now most of you already know how to map structures, but for some reason, you are you are still finding it hard to take profit. Okay. Yeah, you're okay with uh, uh, identifying uh, inducements, uh, drawing your break of structures, your change of character, and all that, and you already know what it means. But you still, for some reason, find it hard to take your profits. Okay. So this is what I mean. All right. So when when the market is in in a bullish market, this is a bullish scenario. Okay, so let's just say this is your okay. This is your point of interest here. Whether it's extreme or decision, or this is your point of interest. I'm not going to teach you how to identify uh, your points of interest or your break of structures or whatever. I just want to show you. Uh, some of the mistakes that you are making okay so let's just say these are your points of interest okay these two are your points of interest so basically uh, this is what I've noticed with most of the traders okay what this is your expectation this this is your expectation right here so if you entered somewhere here your take profit is here okay on this last high right here this this last higher high this is where your take profit is supposed to be all right and even here if you entered here your take profit is supposed to be right on that break of structure so most of the time uh I, I i still get messages uh i still get texts my my telegram okay most people uh the, the complaint that i see most of the time is that no i drew the point of interest exactly where it's supposed to be but then the market bounced off but it didn't go all the way to my take profit but it just reversed okay so guys when we are talking about break of structure uh change of character it's just that's for market direction okay of course it's not a bad idea for you to put your final take profit on that break of structure there your last high there okay that's a very good idea okay but that cannot be your only take profit and it shouldn't even be your primary take, take profit all right this this what i'm about to show is what's going to separate you from the average trader okay so this is what i do most of the time um i don't so as you already know if, if you've been watching my my youtube videos um my time frame is 15 minutes okay but even that for me is too long <laughs> okay so this is what the market does okay let's say yeah this, this is still your point of interest right here all right so the market hits your point of interest you even uh, identify a, a, a buy setup right here okay you even enter the trade but then the market does this it just bounces off there and then all of a sudden it goes what it goes down it goes down there in a change of character 
making a change making a change of character right here okay so this becomes a change of character so this is where a lot of people get confused now the thing is you expect the market to do what what you are doing on your chart so like i said these change of character break of structure they are just showing you the market direction and what step you are supposed to take what you are supposed to look for if the, the change of character is like this down here this means look for sales okay look for sales so now dion you are saying that i should look for sales but then the market does this again of course it takes out this this is the inducement right here it take out that inducement okay bounces off like that maybe just plays around like that and then all of a sudden it goes through like that making this a change of character again This is why a lot of traders now like they they even drop every everything they know. It's like everything no, nothing is now working. Okay? So let's just say there was a change uh, a, a point of interest here. Okay. So the market did that uh just reacted to the point of interest, dropped and then made another change of character. Now you are supposed to look for buys now. This is where most traders just lose it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, guys, if this is your expectation, if this is your expectation of where you enter a trade like this, and then you are only supposed to get out when the market reaches that last high right there you are very very you are doing everything wrong even if you know what inducement means your break or structure or the your the market direction you know everything but you are failing on because at the end of the day the point of these trades whether you like it or not is to make money okay so if you are failing to make money from all these movements then there's nothing you are doing okay you are just making uh, you are just doing this for screenshots okay i know when you take a screenshot of uh, the market hitting your point of interest and then going all the way to break of structure and then like hits your take profit it really looks nice <laughs> in your screenshots okay but forget about your screenshots for a moment okay what if i told you that right here there's someone who, who already made profits right here okay right here just this small movement right here okay the risk to reward ratio here is 7.25 that's a lot my minimum risk to reward ratio for a take profit is three it's three and i'm okay just with a with a three okay but here this is seven it looks like a very small move and it's 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 a very small movement but when you just play it right you know how to calculate your risk you know what uh um the lot size you are supposed to use what you are risking and all that this is a very simple task that you need to master okay your take profit cannot be going all the way that you'll be missing a lot of money i'm telling you because the market this you will see a lot of instances like this okay the market just hits your it just hits your sorry it just hits your point of interest bounces off 
you think it might go all the way to that high and then it just goes back and then makes a change of character and then when it makes a change of character your brain stop functioning just right there okay so it's the same thing even with uh, yeah even 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 when it comes to uh, the downtrend okay you expect market so if this is this is your point of interest right here most of you are expecting the trades to always go like this okay go all the way down okay and then you get out from here that's a lot of risk a lot of risk <laughs> some of us some of us are only in a trade not even not even more than an hour and we are out if i was trading in the morning maybe around eight hours by nine hours i'm already out and then when you start when you start uh <laughs> when you when you are when you are trading people that this trade has already ended they're like okay but for me i haven't made my i haven't made any money because the trade only moved like 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 just 30 percent of the whole the whole leg that it's supposed to cover all right so we have to fix that guys we really really have to fix that I've seen this a lot more than I can count, and it's it's, it's a sorry sight. It's a very very sad scene. Yeah. So let me let me just show you this, okay? So like I said, I'm not trying to teach you how to mark your structures or your point. There, there's already videos for that, okay? You already have videos for that, so. And just see what you can do otherwise i'm trying to fix your take profits okay so these are you you can see this is this is a clear downtrend okay this is volatility 75 index okay so if we started from up there so already I already have a video of uh, entry setups that you need to be using okay I, I also have a video on single candle order blocks and single candle order blocks like I, like I always say this is the most important order block in trading okay so even in the absence of those entry setups you can take a risk on single candle order blocks now those single candle order blocks i want you to use them very much when you zoom in into the lower time frames when you're looking for an entry setup okay so if you know how to draw a uh, point of interest just a recap okay uh if if we are looking for sales we always sell in a premium okay so this is your low right here that is your high there's a break of structure here so the high is already that that side okay so down here down here okay so this is your equilibrium this 0 0.5 this is where your equ equilibrium is okay and where is your first um, your first order block you can already see there's a fair value gap here okay this is after this i'm not i'm not drawing my point of interest down uh below the the, the equilibrium okay my points of interest are supposed to be above this equilibrium okay so this i'm going to take this as a what a first order block which was not even touched okay so this is why we take order blocks that have fair value gaps below them you can clearly see this fair value gap down here so this is how it's supposed to play out so when you go down the one minute chart when you go down the one minute chart oh, it's all the way back there 
Okay, this is where we are. This is your zero point. This is where your equilibrium line is. Okay. All right. I want to make this as big as possible. So, if you are waiting for uh, the entry setups that I already showed you, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. You are conservative. You, if 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 you want to wait for that, it's fine. Okay. So, if you are just looking for single candle order blocks, it's also fine. Okay, but with single candle order blocks, it's very aggressive and you are going to lose some money. Now, that's what, that's, that's the point I'm trying to now arrive at. Okay, risk versus reward. Okay, risk versus reward. The problem is people don't expect to lose when they know SMC. <laughs> okay, which is very bad which is very very bad if you don't expect to lose when you know smc is very very bad what you don't want to expect is losing big that is not normal okay that is not normal blowing accounts is not normal okay so this after um, after this equilibrium here this is what this is your first if you entered here this is your first you can see this Okay, if you don't know what a single candle order block, I can't help you right now, okay? You can just go and watch my video on a single candle order block. So this is a single candle order block. So let's just do this. Okay. Which was made right here. I want to show you something, okay? It was confirmed by this candle right here. Because this candle closed below that candle right there. So... If you entered here for a sale, because this candle right here just went back in, if you entered here for a sale and then put your stop loss right here, just above there, yeah, just above there, right there, okay. All right, so. This is what you do. If you put your sale limit there, because that's what I do most of the time. I don't like looking at my chart for too long, <laughs> especially when things are forming like this. Yeah. So if you put your entry there and then the market decides to drop like that. So this, this right here is your last... Um, this is your last pullback here. Okay. This is your last pullback here. But the market did not go all the way down here. Okay. So this is what I do. Please, you have, you have to pay attention. Okay. So for me to move, to move my, my stop loss, this stop loss here, to move it to break even, the market... I mean, the price at least has to move. It, it, it needs to give me at least a two risk to reward ratio. Okay, that's what I want. So here, the market where it reached here, you can see right here, that's a two. Okay, so the moment the market at least reaches that two risk to reward ratio, I'm going to move this to break even, okay? So that when the market comes all the way up there, the market comes all the way up there and then hits my entry there, I'm not going to lose anything. And there's no need of you starting to start moving the stop loss now. The stop loss was here. Let's see. I don't know what that. Okay, so there's no need of you moving your stop loss. Uh, okay, the stop loss is here, and then you see the market coming up. Start moving your stop loss like this. 
this is saying that you can't lose okay this if you start moving your stop loss like this it means you are in denial you are telling yourself that you can't lose a trade okay the reason we, we put a stop loss that's the money we are willing to lose okay so if you start moving your stop loss like this you are going to be blowing a lot of accounts if the if the if 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 uh if the price starts coming for your stop loss even if your stop loss is not on break even yet just let it be hit because in your plan that's the amount of money you are willing to lose okay all right so here you are going to be hit on break even now Again, you are still waiting. <coughs> you are still waiting, okay? So here it has been hit. You are still waiting. And then you see another candle here. This is a single candle order block right here. You can clearly see it, okay? The top there cleared. The body closes within. And then this is a confirmation candle confirming this single candle order block. So you can draw this out like that okay and then enter right on the surface right there you enter your trade right here put your stop loss just above there nope just above okay just above there okay all right when you do that what do you do now the market moves can you see there it's already the risk to reward ratio is already on what on two so you can move your what your stop loss to break even okay so when you move your stop loss to break even here you haven't taken any profit yet the profits that I take, I always take it when the market at least goes to uh, a, a risk to reward ratio of three. Okay, so this is on the smaller time frame, this is on the lower time frame, this is not on the 15 minute time frame, this is on the lower time frame, which is one minute. Okay, so this is the last low right here. So you can drop, you can drop this right here okay what is the risk to reward ratio now <sighs> let me move this okay so your risk to reward ratio now is what is three so this is what you do now if i had three trades here if i want i can close two trades right here just this movement right here okay this is a very small movement this is one this these are minutes okay this is one two three four five this is five minutes and i'm out and i can leave the the, the other uh the other trade just running okay maybe the other trade can go all the way down here and this is because this is the last uh, law again, and the risk to reward ratio is nine, which is which is pretty pretty good. Okay. Now here we haven't <laughs> we haven't even uh, like seen those entry setups that we normally look for okay here i'm just doing i'm just doing single candle order blocks okay so if we are looking for those entry setups of course we are going to draw our line here this right here can you see this i want you to to oh no this is too far this is the law right here all right so if you draw this line right here this is where your change of character is supposed to be and it's going to be confirmed by this black candle right here 
okay so this can be a change of character if we are looking for those entry setups okay and already we have inducement right there okay and then we have this order block right this is not i hope you can see it. this is not your order block this is within this big guy right there okay so if we draw this guy like that okay how about that guy like that have you seen how it just kissed okay you can call it kissing if you want it just kissed so here let me even zoom in here it was not touched okay that's why i'm using this as as our order block okay if this was touched here this was going to be mitigated order block so i was not going to use this one okay but it was not touched here so it was still valid no wonder we do it out like that. Okay, so let's just say you even missed this setup. Okay, this classic setup that, that we, we always use. Let's just say that we also miss that one. You have this single candle order block. Okay, I keep saying single candle order blocks are important. Okay, you have this single candle order block, which was confirmed by this guy here. Okay. You draw it out like that, and then it was what? It was touched here. Okay, so if you entered here, if you entered right here, okay, right there, okay, right there, if you entered there, where is my line? okay since this is the last law okay if you entered here it's already on two risk to reward ratio here so you can move your what right here you move your uh move your stop loss to break even here you won't lose anything okay the market went up but did not touch the break even it just continued dropping again okay if you missed if you missed up there there was you were given another chance right here right here okay this is another single again order block okay you could have entered somewhere somewhere here okay so the point i'm trying to make here is that you don't need the overall take profit for you to make money okay what you need is these very small movements that you are guaranteed to get something out of okay if you are just waiting for this let's say okay uh, i shouldn't have deleted this Okay, let's say we we entered here. Okay. Uh, where I've forgotten. Oh, it was right here. This was our first entry. Right there. This was our first entry. Right here. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like on the on the main chart. Okay, so on the main chart, that's a very small movement right there. <laughs> okay, it's a very small movement, but I'm telling you there are a lot of profitable traders that do this. And then just leave the chart and then look for uh, for other for other stuff uh, the next morning okay just this just that movement and you are out if you've if you've already made your your daily target you can leave 
sometimes I, I do I do this sometimes. Maybe some two trades running and then this is called a bonus. This is supposed to be a bonus. Okay. This risk to reward ratio is going to be 47. That's a lot, guys. Okay, this is how you grow your account. If if you are if you are always just trying to fit here, this is supposed to be your bonus. It's supposed to be your bonus, not your uh like this is your primary goal or whatever. No, this is just supposed to be your bonus. This is the these are the dollars that you just look at and then if you want to open another account somewhere and then you, maybe you are, you, are, you are trying to trade a lot of accounts at the same time these are some of the bonuses that you use okay so okay you can clearly see here the market just uh it didn't even go all the way and then it went up where did it go to there are a lot of uh, fair value gaps here and then it just dropped and then hits your final profit okay all right so we can move on from here the point here i'm trying to make guys the point i'm trying to make fix your take profits I'm telling you it's a game changer <laughs> okay so here okay where can we go okay let's let's do this one uh, that is your high your low is right here okay so if we just drop this guy here mm -hmm. okay there's your fib there's your low right there okay so after let me zoom in if you don't know how to find if you don't know how to find uh, po a point of interest this is what you do okay this is what you do okay so this is your this is your low right there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's your law right there okay so the market was going up as you can see don't do anything here if the market doesn't go through that equilibrium just let it be there are millions millions of trades that that you can look for okay this is not your final trade so if it doesn't go through that just let it be okay so the market here went through and where is your first uh order block this guy right here this green guy right here that's your first order block okay you can clearly see a fair value gap down here okay so we can draw our order block like like that okay right there let's cover the whole of the block okay okay even here even here oh the okay even here the market didn't even kiss didn't even kiss the order block but it just did what it just went through this fair value gap right here okay so if we zoom into the one minute time frame there let's go all the way back to see what's happening right here okay all right so after after this this line right here this line that you are seeing here is your equilibrium okay this is your first this is your first this is your first uh single candle order block 
if you know how to draw a single candle order block, you know why this is a single candle order block, okay? It cleared out that high there, closed the body closed within, and then this next candle closed down below there, okay? This is a confirmation candle. So this is your single candle order block, and you can draw it out like that, okay? All right, so you could have entered right on this surface with this black candle here right on that surface right there okay right on the surface right here and put your stop loss right here okay this is the the, the, the last law okay so here you could have moved your break even right here you could have moved to break even here okay that was going to be your break even now your first take profit your first take profit was going to be on this law right here okay i can't see any pullbacks here okay so this was going to be your first take profit and your first take profit is what the risk to reward ratio is five guys the minimum my minimum at least for me is three this is okay for me okay now if you look at the 15 minute time frame if we look at the 15 minute time frame this is a very small movement okay okay uh, we are right here this is where we are it's it's very small it can't even be seen so all that profit is just happening within this one black candle here okay so this is your first take profit so imagine all this movement and you've already secured your you, you've already secured some coins right here Okay, this is what you are supposed to be doing, guys. I'm telling you, if you don't, if you want to be trading pressure free, if you want to be trading pressure free, take your partial profits and run away. <laughs> okay, I know that sounds very corny, but you are supposed look at how small it looks there. Okay, but that's a risk to reward risk risk to reward ratio of five that's big okay considering the your 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 uh your what your lot size okay so here you can take off some of the profits okay and then you go to the next law this is the next law here the next law here is what i'm telling you guys for me sometimes the market doesn't even reach halfway and i'm already out like all of the trades will be out especially if you just don't want to do anything that day anything that has to do with trading all of my trades will be out right here whatever happens after this i don't care the problem is most of you agreed you think the market owes you something you think when you draw your break of structure or change of character your points of interest the market is going to do what you are drawing no that's just for direction and it just gives you a a higher probability of the market going your way okay but when it comes to taking your profits please 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 zoom into your lower time frames if you're trading uh, if your analysis time frame is four four hour chart, you should be doing these things on the fifteen minute time frame, or even on the five minute time frame is fine. I do I do that sometimes. Yeah. So this is what you call a bias, not the bias that you know where. No, I want to know what the the daily bias is doing. No, I want no you. <laughs> You don't need to do that. Okay. Of course, a daily bias helps, but as you can see here, we are not even using the daily bias, but we are collecting the coins that are available. Okay. So if you left the trade here to run all the way to the downside, that's a risk to reward ratio of 36. These are some of the trades that look ridiculous when when 
then you take a screenshot and then you are showing someone that okay this is my trade so when i take a screenshot uh i actually don't send any of my screenshots especially on um on mt5 most of the screenshots that i take uh let's say i was analyzing a chart with with a student okay and then the market actually goes all the way down i'll just show you that okay this is where we started this is where, where we, we analyzed the chart okay but it has already gone all the way down there the problem i i don't want <laughs> i i started noticing this area when i started uh my mentorships okay when when you opened a one lot size here even your student even if they just they just have a hundred dollar account they also want to open a one lot size <laughs> okay which is i don't know it's it's, it's, it's just bad they, they want to make money the money that you are making okay so i don't like that i would rather just show you what is happening on the markets since we are looking at the same thing it's fine okay i'll just teach you your risk management your trade management and all that but i don't want you to be seeing what i'm making because it's just going to eh. so okay let's just look at one more i think there's another one uh okay right here let me just delete this okay okay so your high is there your low is uh, i don't think ah uh, did it go all the way up let's see it looks very small yeah yeah we were going to miss this one so as you like i like i said guys like i said these it's okay to miss these these trades okay that is your high <laughs> this is your low right here okay it's okay to miss such trades the trade didn't go all the way to the equilibrium okay so if you see such things just let it just let it slide don't force any trades you are not losing any money you haven't taken any trade okay here this this is the current market now this is the current market let's see what's happening hmm it's actually a good trade it looks like a good trade okay okay this is the current market so after the equilibrium you have the first okay so let's draw this let's draw this out right here it went through it but i want to see what's happening on the one minute time frame the extreme the extreme is all the way up there but i want to see what's happening here it hasn't this is still valid it hasn't closed above so let's see let's see what's happening okay i'm trying to look for a single candle order block there is no single candle order block here no single candle order block here okay this one was confirmed by this one here so if you drew this one out all the way all the way there okay and then you entered here you could have gotten some coins and if you missed here this one is also a single candle order block which was confirmed by this guy here i i i i i, I, I hope you guys are seeing what's happening here. <laughs> okay all right so it's important for you to know the entries the i just call them the classic entry setups okay those happen a lot 
but you also need to know the single candle order block. It happens a lot more than the other ones. Okay. And if you are trying to enter aggressively and then take your profits on the lower time frames, you definitely need a single candle order block. Okay, you definitely need to take a single candle order block. If if we entered here, if we entered right here on this single candle order block, let me just show you. This is a very small movement. Very, very small movement. Okay. There, there is your law. This law right here. That's a risk to reward ratio of four. <laughs> Guys, this these things is not about how long you were in the trade. No, none of that matters. What matters is how much did you make at the end of the day. Okay, did you actually make it out with some coins? If the market moved all the way. It, it it was it, it continues moving all the way down here let me show you continues moving all the way it's still going and then comes back and then hits your stop loss this is nonsense okay this is way too much movement for this market to hit your stop loss okay when someone can actually make a lot more money just here why do you need all this movement this can take even the whole day just here the market just playing up because when the market uh starts going up and down up up and down just here just here it can even take three days okay you haven't seen your take profit and instead of taking profit it will just go all the way up and then take you out and some of you don't even know how to break even, which is very, very sad. Very, if you are not a break even trader, I don't know what you are doing. Being a break even trader is really going to help you like get rid of that greed. You are telling yourself that, okay, the market can come, can come back again. But when it comes back again, I don't want to lose anything. Okay, that's not being greedy. This that's just being careful. Okay, in a very good manner. So, guys, this is I just I just wanted to show you what 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 you are supposed to be doing. Okay, you need to fix your take profits. It's a very 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 important part of trading. Okay, these are very small movements which you need uh okay let me do this you've seen this movement this is a very 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 small movement here okay a very small movement here the market can do this right here okay this is what most most people ask like okay my my point of interest was there it was hit but the market just did this, okay, and then went through that point of interest again. I didn't make any money. How? <laughs> How? Okay, yeah, you can even uh, change character like that, okay. But that doesn't mean that you can't still make money just here, okay. This analysis time frame should be your bias. Make it work for you okay i think i've talked a lot um so guys if this is if you are new to this channel i uh i'll be trying to post a lot more tips like this so just consider subscribing and liking this video if you have any questions just drop them in the comment section this has been dion trades happy trading